All right, guys, so hard day today. I'm doing better, but I actually did grieve my husband today and I did miss him. And I had a dream last night about him. And like I said, dreams are common when you go through divorce. Um, so this is my second dream. And I feel like it was from God. And this one, we were back together. And the last one, we were back together. And it's just kind of like I had moved on even more last night and put more boundaries up thinking, okay, you know, look at how he's acting. You need to protect yourself. So I put more boundaries up and I had, um, I had a dream about him in his eyes. It was in his eyes. And that's something that I always loved about, about my husband was his eyes. So we were all, my whole family, hiking and hanging out together and everything was good. Um, and then I woke up to reality, which uh, was a rude awakening when you are in a dream and it's very vivid. Um, so today I was just going through stuff. If you look at my channel, journaling and everything. And I, ha I went to uh, prayer after church with some people and just stre got strengthened through prayer. You know, it's just keep your eyes on God. Just keep your eyes on God when your husband has just walked away for no reason really, torn down your whole entire family, and you built and built and built for close to 32 years now. September will be 32 years I've been married. Plus, I've known him since second grade. So that's like, what, five, almost five decades together, 46 years of, you know, knowing my husband. Um, and being extremely, extremely close um, before. Like intimacy was difficult, I think, for him with communication, but in other ways, yeah, we were very close. And so physically, my body is also feeling this. You know, physically, I can feel like, you know, just like I need to feel him around me. I need to feel like, uh, like his presence around me. So, um, just a hard day today, guys.